So has Law finally met his match? Really? How? Maybe we'll find out today. We're almost at that big fat six hundo. Very exciting. Still a little ways to go though. But yeah, last episode ended with Locke like falling to the ground, clutching his chest, bleeding from the mouth because of some dude that walked up that supposedly knows him from a decent amount of time ago. He said you've grown up. So I don't know how far back this goes, but I'm very interested to see who this is. Someone that can just like cut him down like this. And like whatever happened with Caesar Clown outside, if it's this guy's doing too, where all the straw hats kind of fell and weren't able to do anything. We're going to hop right in. If you're new to the channel, drop a fat sub right now. Thank you. And let's get started. Oh, you get a better look. Oh, wait, a way better look. What? Oh my gosh. Is that, what is that? A steak? Is, is that part of his face? You don't trust... Oh, wait, what? Being careful and sitting under... Oh, sh wait, who's being careful? Can I get a name? <laughs> Thank you, Law. <laughs> Virgo. Luckily, I was at Dressrosa. Got a ride in an SAD tanker? Oh, what? He's, he's buying time. He's buying time. Yep. Can't fool grown-ups. Why is there a stake on his face? Oh, no. Oh, no. He has his heart. Wait, what? What is that? Wait, is that like hockey? Like armament? What is happening? And why is there a stake? Yo, Virgo kind of cold. Oh, he's correcting him. I think that is armament hockey. Dude, what is going on? So he has Law's heart. When did he get Law's heart? And then that doesn't really clear up what happened with the straw hats and Smoker and all them. No. If it was Conqueror's hockey, I think Luffy would have withstood it. Maybe. Master. 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 Sorry, group mentality. Mom mentality. So who doesn't trust Caesar, though? Oh, no, dude. Really? Okay, well, Luffy's locked down. The most important one. Dude, I was even saying, like, we were winning, like, everything here in terms of teaming up with Law. But it, it flipped on a head quick. The cool brothers blew it. Zoro's group. That's kind of up to Zoro's group now. That's why he's looking for the, the samurai's upper upper torso. Or the upper half. Zoro is so unbothered. He's going to cut one and realize it. he's just standing there contemplating everything. I mean, his pride is a little bit shot from who we've seen him as as a person. Is it bad that I kind of want him to stay like this? I kind of like just the, the, the legs head combo. It's kind of kind of funny. Zoro! Brick's going to die! No, like I say, he's gonna find out though what happens when you cut them. Oh, yeah, the gas. Uh, oh, wait, it didn't even spew gas. Maybe it doesn't all the time. I mean, it does just for all. Oh, yeah, there it is. So it's like, it's not like a natural reaction. You're like angering it, basically. Why does the gas doesn't affect Brooke, right? Oh, man. oh, no, 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 it should. Okay. Yep, there it is. Mm -hmm. Why am I not shocked? <laughs> Show your body into the. Yeah, it, it's like it's like its defense mechanism. He's hiding behind Zoro. Bro, where is Sanji? I mean, it's a big lake. Dude, it's so deep. Ain't no way. Cold and the poison, man. Use it. Oh, shoot. Wait, what? I mean, they did confirm that Sanji and Zoro both have, like, some form of hockey, but observation hockey, like, to, like, sense for it? <laughs> He's like, stop being mean to me. Damn. Zoro, be nice. Brooks just stressed. Oh. Something happened to the torso. That's all poison gas. Oh my gosh. I mean, even if the torso's engulfed in. Oh no. Oh, that's why he's hurting. I feel like a shark has it. So he can't even sense it. That of the fish. It's inside the shark. Or the shark just has it in his mouth. Oh my goodness. 
Oh no wonder that guy's screaming, brother! Oh my gosh! How is he even alive? He's using his heart as a true toy! I mean, it is just a regular shark, but they're so deep underwater. He's riding it! Why? Dude, that's painful to look at. Maybe it like changes how your pain receptors work whenever Law cuts you. Nice, Sanjinamis. Nice. Now he's got to go all the way back up. The samurai puzzle. Dude, he could look, look pretty sick with that. Uh, is it a Komodo or just a robe? He could look pretty sick with that all put together. And the, and the two blades, too. He'd be a worthy uh, ally. Oh, no. Oh. Rip, little shark. He kind of reminds me of Megalo. I kind of miss Megalo. Little cutie pie back in Fishman Island. Maybe this will like make Sanji look at Nami a little differently. Like being like walking a day in her shoes. You know what I mean? Who am I kidding though? It'll probably change nothing. I guess we'll see. Blue walk. Is that like what he uses to get into the sky? Nice! That's my boy! Hell yeah! Aww. Dude, he's gonna he's gonna owe them a big favor here. I think it could be a very worthy ally. Like I said, you don't make your way to this island all alone without like by being like a fraud, basically. I don't know. He's gotta be a pretty worthy uh samurai. Oh shoot, he's all put together. Hell yeah. The samurai from the Wano Kingdom, Fox Fox. Oh wait, Fox. Wait, I, I missed the end of his name. They, they said, oh, he's so tall. Oh my gosh. They said the name Foxfire, or whatever the rest of it is earlier. Oh, Kinemon. Three Wano Kingdom. That's who that was. I don't remember the context of what they said his name, but Foxfire Kinemon. That's a sick like. I will be like, make a nickname. Dude, he is like gigantic. He's as tall as Brooke. That's insane. His voice is like all deep and reserved now. I like his look a lot. The soundtrack in the background changed. Mm. Mm. Dang. I mean, they, they saved his life inherently. Wait, the slimes don't like fire. His name is Fox Fire. Does he have some kind of fire ability? Oh, okay. Or we just leave. Back to law? I'm very intrigued by this. Oh. Chopper! Chopper! He's investigating. Run, little fella, run! He's in the lab. <laughs> Nobody better touch my son. I swear, bro. I'll throw hands. I mean, he knows what the drug's made out of. That's a very, that's a key item looking book, bro. The light perfectly on it. He has to get a stool. All right, here we go. It's a book about drugs. My boy is getting to work. No, 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 no. That sucks. They're all sea prismed, man. They're actually out of commission until somebody saves them. There's nothing you can do. The airship? Wait, they're dipping. Oh, because of Smiley. Oh, to get the kids. Oh my gosh. Is that going to show the full airship? Sea prism stone continues to be one of the biggest like key items in One Piece though. Like just completely disabling a devil fruit is crazy. Uh, Kinemon needs to start pulling his weight, man. I think this is his mom to <laughs> oh what did i say man I, I i walk it all back uh? Uh? yeah dude it's gotta be foxfire for a reason yo no shots he's a fire swad how does that even work you got one of them demon slayer swords <laughs> How? Oh my gosh! What kind of training are they doing in Wano, brother? It's just gone! Bro, what? He cut the fire! How is that possible? Oh, his son. I, I totally keep forgetting about his son, brother. Oh my gosh. Kinemon, what just happened? <laughs> oh, that's exactly what happened. He's like the opposite of Brook. Brook freezes. He's fire. Cut something with fire and then cut flames. That is cool, man. He like cuts it and then ignites it. 
Nice. No flame, I can't cut. Bro, he would be Ace's biggest opponent. Dang, man. Yo, he's a big factor on this island too, especially with Smiley, because Smiley's the biggest threat right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I thought he was going to like challenge him just for training. I was like, don't do this. This is not the time. That's a cool team up for Zoro, though. A lot, of, a lot of stuff, though. Like this guy, what's his name? Virgo? Why is there a stake on his face? Who does he not trust? He's from Dressrosa. And then, yeah, Kinemon's a lot stronger than I anticipated. I expected him to be a strong samurai, but he kind of just counters Smiley. 599, let's go. What? What? What's going on? He's just beating Law, bro. Oh my gosh. Their base commander. Wait, G5's base commander? Wait, what? Huh? Is it Navy? Like, officer? No, you're playing. He's playing both sides. Oh. And how does he have Law's heart? What? Where is this? The new world in island? G5. Oh. I guess we're getting more reasoning behind this? Mm, so they're like a uh, loose cannon type? But that's part of Smokers too, right? Oh wait, no, it's not. It's not completely separate. G5 unit, Commodore Yarasugi. Yeah, so G5 is a very loose cannon unit of the Navy. Does he have golden legs? <gasps> wait. Wait, these are the people's children are here on Punk Hazard. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And G5's headed there now, but Virgo is involved with them. What? Tashigi <laughs> listens empathetically. Yeah, actually, she does. No, I think G5 is just a really big unit. Oh my gosh. Not gonna try. I mean, but if Virgo has something to do with like covering it up, then yeah, of course they would assume the kids are dead. Vice Admiral Virgo. Oh my gosh. It's a, it's a double agent. Dude, it gets more and more corrupt as time goes on. You don't know who you can trust anymore. Yarasugi is just a piece of trash. Unit 1 of G5. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, so the, just the groups are just very large. But he one tapped an apple. That was a kind of impressive. I'm not gonna lie. Dang, man. That's horrible. Dude, he's a vice admiral. Vice Admiral Virgo knows about this. Hmm. Save the island from pirates. Such a gentleman. Wait, the stake isn't on his face. I mean, at least we know that the kids are still alive. Bro, so all the kids from this island? It wasn't just like all over the world? Oh my gosh. And here they are, suffering, going through withdrawals, and now some of them are giants. I mean, I think, I'm pretty sure they're there, like headed there now, like Caesar. It sounded like he knew exactly where the kids were. And if they are, then that's even worse. Because especially if they get the candy, then it like sort of re resets all that they've gone through with these withdrawals and they'll have to go through it all over again. What are they throwing pipes? Nami Sanji is just freaking me out still, man. We got to go back. Oh, there he is. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was the most monotone shilolo that I've heard yet. Shilololo. It's like a hello. Oh. That's their antidote. And their poison at the same time. God, he's so creepy. I love it. Just a well-designed villain through and through. They're smiley. Slowly make, making his way over still. Oh, yeah, because some of it was destroyed. Dude, Kenamon should just camp the edge of the map here and just keep killing it. Spawn trap him. Is it a frog? I, dude, it doesn't look like anything. It's just a giant slime. Is it forming into something? Is it like growling? I can't even tell. That's a big chunk. Cut it, Kinemon! Oh, he's like targeting them now. He's not just shooting himself over. That was a really big chunk though. What are Kinemon's limits in terms of how much he can't... What? Did it shoot its entire self? 
Oh yeah, no, it's still too enormous. I mean, the fact that water is a big weakness is a pretty big deal. Yeah, imagine if, it, if you cut it and it exploded in like its biggest form. It would be, it would be cataclysmic. <laughs> He's gonna find his son. Gotta also warn people about what's going on. Oh shoot, laws with them now. <laughs> it's like, how did you get captured? Robin doesn't even look that upset. Ah, oh, shoot. What a group, bro. Smoker, Law, Tashigi, Luffy. Oh, gosh. Oh, Smoker. The head of G5. Dude. Oh, my gosh. The fact that he's a vice admiral is just nuts, though. I mean, it doesn't surprise me that, like, higher-ups in the Navy are corrupt. But, like, this is, like, this is new territory. Activate immediately. I'm guessing, like, the doors? Yeah. He, he knows that if he, he can keep them outside, Smiley will just slowly kill everything. He just plays the waiting game now. I mean, that and he took their escape off the island. They would... They're, they're kind of in a rough spot either way. Oh, he's just got a giant club. Oh, brother. They're just gonna disperse and run. It's honestly terrifying. It's like a ticking time bomb. Unkillable demon. Also, I like the contrast of the bright white snow with this pink blob. It's even more menacing in a type of way. How clearly you can see all of it. Is it really just a piece of meat he left on his face? There's no way, bro. There's, that's not a piece. That's like half the burger. Bro, it wasn't a part of him? What is One Piece, brother? That was the longest joke I've ever seen in my life. What good payoff. His subordinates, but does he care about them? Uh, and clearly this guy's evil. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I like the view. Robin! Oh, true! Yeah! Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just a little different looking smoker. This is pretty bad. They're up it's up to everybody outside the cell. So oh, they did talk about a rat. And the rat was literally a vice admiral. Oh my gosh. Virgo covered it up. So then why would Virgo not trust Caesar if they're so in deep together? <laughs> yeah, I like Virgo's design though. He's very, uh... Bro, what is this shot? What is this? He was a pirate? Oh, that's how he knew Law? Oh, yeah, Joke. Oh, I thought he was Joker. Oh. Oh. Then who is Joker? An underworld broker. Man, how does he have Law's heart, man? It doesn't, I don't think his double identity matters anymore, does it? I think that is Armament Hockey. Yeah, he's saying it doesn't matter if they find out. I think that was sort of Caesar's perspective, too. You just kill everybody on the island. Nobody has to know. Joker's important territory. Learn about his identity. Who has? <laughs> Does Law even know? Oh! What? How many people working for Joker? Man, that you know very... Brother, what? Is it Dragon? Do Flamingo? Wait. Wait. They work for Do Flamingo. What? This is all his scheme? Like the entirety of Punk Hazard? And is Caesar working for him too? My gosh, brother. Holy. Hang on, I need a, I need a process. Joker is Doflamingo. Virgo is working for Doflamingo. I think Caesar is, but Virgo doesn't trust Caesar. So does that mean Doflamingo doesn't trust Caesar? I mean, to be honest, I don't know who would trust Caesar. He's a bit of a crackhead, if I must say. So they sent Virgo here to see if Caesar was like trolling and whatnot. And he is, I think. They think that he's scheming. 
scheming. So is Caesar trying to stab Doflamingo in the back and like take these giants for himself? So is this whole experiment just Doflamingos in the end? My good dude, that changes everything. I thought that the, this Joker was gonna be like a background player and like kind of underground, but no, he's actually powerful. We know Doflamingo is powerful. I don't really understand how powerful because his power, I don't know the limits of it, especially with hockey and whatnot. But how do you fight someone that makes like controls you basically just through the air through thin air interesting it makes sense that his alias would be joker though he is very jokerish i mean i would say caesar clown is more but dude this is getting juicy punk hazard just just keeps firing off rapidly and now we have kenham on as part of the picture and the role he's gonna play that whole group it's kind of up to them to free this group because i don't know how much we can rely on g5 quite frankly but guys that's been it for 598599 next time we will have episode 600 of big fat milestone like i said and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace